Now, every time you play different figures in your bass drum, chances are you're going to run into some combinations like this. You know, you have to remember where your bass drum line is coming from. Most often, when you play rock tunes, uh, what you play in your bass drum is very similar to what the bass player plays. So if he goes, you want to feel comfortable playing that figure uh, in your bass drum. Now, at the beginning of the Time Functioning Patterns book, there's a set of exercises, I think it's pages 11 through 14, that run through all of the different bass drum figures that are possible. And so you can use this list when you're practicing a sticking, and by going through these exercises, you'll get to the point that there'll virtually be no figures that you can't play in your bass drum against the sticking. And every time I play a different line in the bass drum, I can really make the sticking sound different. Okay, now another thing that's uh, nice about stickings is they give you a lot of accent flexibility. In other words, stickings have notes all over the place in both hands, so it's always easy to find other points to accent. And in a lot of your more modern funk and fusion kind of grooves, they move the accents around some, so this is kind of a handy device to have. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples of this. Uh, in the first example, what I'm going to do is to take the accent that used to be on two, and I'm going to move it over to the uh of two, which is another single stroke in the left hand, so it's easy to do. But it will give me a different kind of feel. Let's see what this would sound like. Now another easy place to put the accent would be on the uh of one. And in this case that note is in my right hand. So what I'm going to have to do is to bring my right hand over from the hi-hat onto the snare drum to get the accent. So let's check out and see what this accent would sound like. Now every sticking pattern that you play will give you a lot of choices like this. So what I suggest you do is to work out it first with the typical 2-4 accent, you know, and get your bass drum stuff together, and then start checking out some of these other accent possibilities. And when you do these additional accents, you know, it's probably easier to accent on single strokes than it is to accent on double strokes. That's not to say that you shouldn't do double stroke accents, it's just to say that they're a little bit harder to do. So when you first work on it, you might want to work on the single strokes that are around, and then later on you can check out some of the double strokes.